wooden boats in general bring back a lot of memories, a lot of history. I think our clientele now see the wooden boats uh, as something handmade, something very specific and unique for them that they can't get anywhere else and nobody else can get and so there's not two or three or four or five of them, there's one of them. I think we're seeing a total shift in appreciation for what, for what it is we do and the appreciation for the handmade and some of that bespoke quality is, is kind of what's going on. The company is started in 1933 by Stanley Young and his father. The company is now in its third generation, although today you guys saw a little bit of the fourth generation of the boats. First generation was 1933 to about 1968, all wood boats. Second generation was 68 to 81. Uh, Amy, my wife's father uh, and mother, Sid and Julie Young. And then Amy and I came back in uh, 2003, so three or four of us building boats in the back garage again. And now we're 2018 and roughly 70 employees right now. We figured out really early to depend on ourselves. We have very tight timelines. Our clients in northern climates have six, maybe eight weeks of summer. And if you miss a week because you're waiting on some upholstery or some metal work, something, it just doesn't work. So, so we have our own upholstery team, we have our own metal team, we do I mean, of the boats, the only thing we don't build here is are the engines. But we build all the tooling for all the metal work, all the flat brass work, metal work we do in-house. Every ounce of the boat is built by us. So we really control that build process. One thing I love about what we do, at Stancraft in particular, is it's still handcrafted from day one to the last day. They're hand-drawn, hand-lofted. There's no computer-aided in what we do. We can all relate on this one topic of wood boats, the craftsmanship, and what they are. Really the process starts in the loft, the drafting loft. And the first step is Tom will typically come up with a side profile. So we ask, it's like building a house, a lot of questions, how fast, how many people, how, many, how much you want to spend, where are you using it? And then once we kind of get to that basic step, then we'll do a rendering of the side profile because that's really what strikes people by. Once we all agree on that, then we'll move to interior and making sure the interior layout is kind of what they're thinking. We have the, the limits of engine sizes and those things we got to deal with. And again, once we get to that, we'll go to the two-dimensional actual drawings, same drawings you see in the shops, which moves on to lofting the boat and making the frames. But it's exciting for the builders too, because it's not just go in, frame that wall, it's 16 inch on center. And uh, my favorite thing about what we do in this crew is the passion. Uh, everybody works for a paycheck. No one here only works for that. They're truly here because they're proud of what they do and they want to make it better every single time. To be surrounded by that kind of people is priceless. I've never seen it anywhere else in any other industry where it's true, true passion. And that's, that's neat to be surrounded by 40 to 60 people that are very passionate about what they do. The crew know they have a lot of freedom, and, and uh, with the metal work, and you know, and if it's going to be something, they'll bring us down, and we'll kind of talk about it as a group. But, but there's the ability as the, for the crew to bring in their ideas. So it's not just coming from Tom or me or or Jory or whatever. It's coming from 35 builders, and in the upholstery department, same way, right? It's just pushing creativity um, and getting the next best thing out of your out of your brain. And, and just the willingness to really risk it and, and, and take all of this old style of building and, and handcrafted stuff and then willing to push the modern era into that. With the 21st century and the wooden boats, it's brought the clientele back into the boat world. We brought down the average age of our client because of the technology from touch screens to joystick controls where it you don't necessarily know how to drive a boat to drive one of our boats anymore. It's almost like a video game. It's, it's amazing what some of these boats have. So it's almost a challenge keeping up with technology because every year we have to teach ourselves something new on that boat and be great at it before we give it to the customer.
when that person gets in that boat, it blows away their expectations. It's not meeting their expectations. It's certainly not below their expectations. It is, wow, what did I get, right? So I think we do that very, very well. I think that, that the crew understand that the Stancraft way is to, it's never good enough. There's always something you can do when that boat's leaving this building. And that's kind of weird to say, because you should say, well, no, it's perfect when the fleet, well, no, not, it, it's not, it can't be, right? We could do something, we could do one more thing to it to make it better. There's always going to be something that's handmade, right? So there's always something. But we're going to do, we're going to make that boat the best damn boat it could possibly be before it leaves this building.